All right, we are recording. We are ready to rock. I hope you guys are. Got some good music playing. We're going to get you right into our warm-up today. So um, each, each movement is going to be a minute long. The first two are single-sided movements, so you'll just switch at 30 seconds. So the first one we're going to start with is a fire hydrant. This is where you just bring that leg up, exactly what it sounds like, just like a dog in a fire hydrant. But if you notice with Stephanie, she's not like trying to open her hips up and go as far as she can with her leg. She's only letting that leg go up as high as her hips will allow. If you feel like you're going to tip over, all you need to do is take, when you start out, take your knees a little bit wider. So it gives you a little bit more stability from side to side. And we're going to go 30 seconds on each side with that um, fire hydrant. When we finish that, the next one we're going to go into is a donkey kick. So that's still down, just going straight back and up. That's all it is right there. So ideally, you, go, you can go up a little bit on that. We just don't want to arch our back too much. And the focus there is really just squeezing those glutes tight every time you kick up and straight back. And I'm going to challenge you on these two to, as your leg lifts up, try to keep your hips parallel or level with the ground. That's where that, um, that little, a little bit wider stance can come into play with your knees as you're in that all fours position. So we're going to warm up for five minutes. Those are the first two movements. Um, after that, we'll just keep rolling right with it. I just wanted to go ahead and explain those because that's a little bit different than what we've done over the last uh, few weeks. So we'll start out with those fire hydrants. Let's go right leg in three, two, one. Let's go. There you go. Just keep eyes down. Try to keep a flat back. What's up, McGee? Good morning. You and Stephanie are right beside each other on the screen. Stephanie Adams, I mean. Actually, what, and the other stuff. What up, Will? All right, go ahead and switch to that other leg. Feel free to add a little pause in here and there at the top. Should be burning the outside of that hip a little bit or that lateral upper sort of area of your glute. About 10 seconds left, then we'll go into those donkey kicks. Remember on that, you can kick straight back or go up a little bit. All right, right into those kicks. So just kick back, pause for a second each time. Focus on squeezing those glutes tight when you do this. Remember, if, if you're moving your back a lot, we don't want to kick that high. You can literally go straight back with that heel, just like we would a bird dog. We always want to be able to move our leg without moving our spine if we can. All right, go ahead and switch legs. That's it. Got it. Keep it going. We got about 20 seconds left on that side. And then we're going to crawl around for a minute. So keep going with what you're doing right now. But in about 10 seconds, we're going to go into a lateral bear crawl. You'll see Stephanie do that here in just about five seconds. But you're just going to go like two or three steps one way, two or three the other way. All right, let's go. Lateral bear crawl. So she's just going to go a few one way, a few the other way. And remember, on a lateral bear crawl, we do want to try to keep this in that crawling position so where your knees are close to the ground. Everybody's looking good on that. I'm waiting on Will to push Elizabeth down. <laughs> she's like, ah, here it comes. There we go. 30 seconds left. I see you, Vicky Stowe. I know I hadn't said hi yet. What a sun's coming up early today on her screen. I know these kind of suck. These are tough. These are going to wake you up, warm you up. You got to hold out 13 seconds on these. We will be standing up after this, and you'll probably use that same little area that you're crawling in right now because we're going to do uh, side shuffles back and forth. All right, go ahead and hop up, and let's get into a side shuffle for one minute. Getting that athletic stance. You can see Stephanie White here is slightly bent over, but she's got good posture, good athletic stance. Side to side. If we can, we're going to try to pick the pace up a little bit 
And we got about 20 seconds left on this one. Hopefully you are starting to wake up a little bit. All right, last 20 seconds. So if you can go a little bit faster, let's try to get that heart rate up some more. Pick up the pace. 10 seconds left on this one now. When we finish this one, we're going into our full body extensions for one minute. So that's where it's like a squat jump without leaving the ground. And we'll swing those arms up. All right. So let's go into this full body extension. So you know Stephanie's gonna squat down and then kind of swing her arms up as if she's going to jump as high as she can and go all the way to her toes every rep. That's it. So think I wanna see everybody, if you can, come all the way up to your toes every time like you're about, like you just jumped, but you kind of stopped yourself halfway up so you didn't come off the ground. There we go, explode up, 30 seconds left. If we're doing these right, these will actually get your heart rate up quite a bit because it's a full body movement that you do fast. Keep rocking, you got it. About 10 seconds on these. All right, take a break. So, we're gonna get right into it. We have our first of two 10 minute AMRAPs that we're gonna run through today. So on this, um, we've got, you're just gonna need one dumbbell. So Stephanie went and grabbed hers. So we have our bear rows today. If you uh, worked out on Saturday, we introduced these to you guys, at least through here. Then uh, on Saturday, we did some long sets. For these, we're going to do 10 each side. So just like that lateral bear crawl, we're going to dig those toes in, bring the knees about an inch or two off the floor, and then just go into a row, just like a renegade row we would normally do. You're going to do the goal here, just like with our renegade rows, is to, to stop those hips from rolling to the side. So just like seven, that's a solid position. So if you can see, her back is parallel to the ground. So you go 10 reps on one side, and then switch, go 10 reps on the other side. Then we're going to stand up. We're gonna go into 10 total lateral squat jumps. Remember on our lateral squat jumps, these are kind of like frog jumps. You squat down deep with the feet out a little bit wider than normal, touch the ground and then hop over to the side. So just 10 of those. Then you're gonna pick your dumbbell back up. And for most, um, most women, you really don't need more than 15 pounds for this. Um, like I don't do this with more than 25 when I do these. We're gonna go dumbbell jacks. So that's where you press that dumbbell out in front and you gotta do 20 reps on that. So you go 10 rows right, 10 rows left, 10 lateral squat jumps total, and then 20 dumbbell jacks, pressing that dumbbell out in front. So we're gonna do that for 10 minutes, as many rounds as you possibly can as you go through that. So if you need to modify anything, let me know. Um, if jumping doesn't work for you on the jacks, we can do what's called a fast heartbeat squat. So it's basically the same exact thing, but as you squat down, you're gonna press the dumbbell out in front, and as you stand, you'll bring it back in. So Stephanie's gonna show you, she's pressing, coming back in. So think like a heartbeat, the heart goes out. That's it right there. So that would be a modification for the jacks if you need that. On the lateral squat jumps, we can do um, those full body extensions that we did in the warm up, where you just, ex <laughs> where you explode up. All right, so we're gonna get into this, 10 minutes. Make sure you got your dumbbells ready. But if you need any other mods or anything, just let me know. Put them in those comments. I'll be happy to rock that out for you. Otherwise, we're going to go here as hard as you can go for 10 minutes in three, two, one. Let's get it. Go, go, go. We're going to crank this music up here. So you got your bare renegade row, 10 each arm. Trying to keep that back parallel to the ground. Hips square, everybody's looking solid on these. Remember, knees are low on that. Don't let those knees get up and that butt off the ground. Those quads should burn a little bit while you do this. Hips are directly above the knees. You got it, 10 of those each side, then 10 lateral squat jumps. Remember, if the jumping doesn't work for you, just hit up 10 of those uh, 
full body extensions. Or you can always step over and squat. Then you got your dumbbell jacks for 20. There you go, 10 each arm on those bare renegade rows. On that one, you can hold your feet out a little bit wider than your hips, and it'll keep you from rolling side to side too. Kind of like we do with the regular renegade rows. Wake up, Holland, let's go. So when you do that one, Laura, you want to be in like, a, like feet wide, squat straight down and touch the floor. So like once you land, there you go, right there. That's perfect. It's almost like a stepping motion over. There you go. Good job, Christy Meadows. So you should have a good idea of what weight you can use now. I know these get a little bit tricky. Good job, McGee. Good work. Good work. All right. So still got it right up on the screen. 10 each arm, 10 lateral squat jumps, 20 dumbbell jacks. Got it. Keep rocking. Keep rocking. Let's push the pace on this. We're two minutes in, two minutes in. So if you're moving consistently, this should be when that heart rate starts coming up and it stays there. We want to keep it there. So let's find a pace that you can maintain for the full 10 minutes without having to stop. That's it. You got it. You got it. Ooh, you got it, D. Let's keep it up, buddy. Yes, sir. Those dumbbell jacks get tough. Those always surprise me. I think we got Stephanie in her third round. All right. So remember, bare renegade rows each side, lateral squat jumps for 10, and then dumbbell jacks for 20. Laura, if you can, let's get those legs, those feet out and in on those jacks. If you if you can. If that's that's all good. All good. Remember, we got that heartbeat squat we can do as well. It'd just be like 20 squats pressing the dumbbell out as you go down if you decide you want to do that. That and then up back in. So you can do that or what you were doing, that's fine. I feel like those squats might be a little tougher, which is why I was offering that. Got it, Stephanie Adams. Keep pushing. That's it. Good job, Vicky Stowe. You got it. Looking good, McGee. Let's make sure we come all the way up in between those squats. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we are four minutes down, four minutes down, six to go. Hey, Y'all can get, I'm sure everybody's getting at least, I think one round per minute is probably pretty, probably about right. You going around four or five, Stephanie? Four, okay. We're just about around a minute. I think that'd be a good thing to shoot for. I'd love to see everybody trying to hit one round per minute if you can. That'd be kind of tight to get because those jacks would take a little bit. But... There you go, Meadows. You got it. Everybody's looking good on these lateral squat jumps. Really good on those bare rows, too. Challenge yourself on those. Keep those knees down, heels up off the floor. That's it, that's it. Well, keep rolling, keep rolling. You are past the halfway point now. Oh, we got garage doors coming open, it's game day. Good stuff, good stuff. Just keep rolling. Remember, we're trying to find that pace you can maintain for a full 10 
minutes, and now it's just about, about four minutes. Good work, folks. Good work. 20 of those dumbbell jacks. 10 bare rows. Each side. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it up. You got this. Come on. Don't worry. We'll get a good two-minute break after this 10-minute set. You're ready, Christy Meadows. You got that. That a girl, solid jumping jacks. Keep it up now. Keep it up. Keep it up. Let's go. Yeah, everybody's looking springy this morning. It's going to be a great day today. So we are past the three-minute mark. Let's keep it up. Keep that form tight. Knees close to the ground on that bare row. That's it. You got a good squat, McGee. It looks solid. Let's get it, EA. Come on. That's it. Way to be explosive on those. Got it, Vicky Stowe. Killing it. Big jacks. Those are tough. Knees. Remember, hips up straight above the knees on that bare row. You got to challenge yourself on that. You're going to want to straighten out. Don't do it. That's it. That's it. Let's keep it up. Keep grinding. So now you got less than two minutes. Stephanie White's on round 55. She is flying. There you go, Dean. Keep pushing, buddy. Keep pushing. Almost at that one minute mark. Just about there. Good job, Annie. I see you. Keep it up. Let's keep that squat going. Wake up, Holland. Wake up. Laura Holland, I mean. We got another Holland on here, too, technically. All right. We are past one minute. Past one minute, let's go. Nobody stops on that last minute. Zero rest time on the last minute. Keep pushing. A little bit faster than normal. Remember, you got a full two-minute break after this. 30 seconds left now. Keep digging. Keep digging. You can do it. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Right into it. Right into it. Let's go. Good job, folks. Keep it up. We got about 15 seconds left. Keep grinding away. Keep grinding away. Come on. Come on. And rest. All right. We got two minutes on that. Take a break. Go grab some water. Have a seat. In about a minute, we'll go ahead and start explaining the next part of the workout. On this next part of the workout, you will need the heaviest weight that you have for a band. Yeah.
All right, so this is our next 10 minute set. This is the last 10 minute set of the day. And then we got a couple three minute sets. So um, we're gonna demonstrate, three of these are body weight. And then we'll demonstrate the last one. If you have a heavy weight, we want you to grab a heavy, the heaviest weight that you have. Um, if not, then we're gonna do this, you can do it with a band. Um, you could technically probably figure out a way to use both as well. Um, you can also, we'll get, let me talk about that when we get there. That's four movements away. All right, first movement is a hollow rock. So this is where we're in that hollow position, shoulder blades off the floor, legs off the floor. And you want to rock from your back, just like a turtle laying on their back on a shell. And if a turtle has a shell, they're not going to move. They can't move that shell. So they're just rocking back and forth without moving that midsection. So you go 10 hollow rocks. If you cannot do a hollow rock, bring your hands down to your hips and lift the shoulder blades up off the floor. And we're going to hold that, that position right there. And then if you can, you can bring your, your feet off the floor with the knees bent. The progression from here would be one leg out, and then beyond that would be two legs out, and just leaving those out. So you can do that for 10 seconds instead of hollow rocks if you cannot do those hollow rocks. After that, so it's just a hollow hold on that one if you cannot do the hollow rocks. Then you're gonna go shoulder blades off the floor, and if you can do this from the hollow position, we're gonna do a single leg raise and back down, alternating for 10 each side. So if you cannot, you can always do that with the knees bent and the shoulder blades off the ground and lightly touch your toes to the ground, just like Stephanie's doing right there. Or we can do leg lowers if we have to, where the legs start out upwards and you lower them one at a time and you can alternate 10 each leg. So you've got different options there, but ideally you're in that hollowed out position and you're going 10 leg raises each side. And remember when we're hollowed out, that low back is touching the floor throughout. So you got to keep the shoulder blades and the head up if you can. Um, if you have any neck pain or anything, just leave that head down and then try to drive that low back into the floor. So then we're going to do a broad jump plus a back pedal. So she's going to jump as far as she can with control. Back pedal back quick. Jump. Back pedal back quick. So what we'll do on that if the jumping is not good for you today, just find a distance, sprint forward, and back pedal back. That right there, that's all it'll be. That might even be harder than the jumping going backwards. So that's our first three. The fourth one of this 10 minute, and then you go 10 of those. So you go out and back is one, out and back is two. Then we're going to a heavy Romanian deadlift. So we'll get Stephanie to turn sideways on this one. So you can see how she, her knees are almost straight as she goes through this, just slightly bent. And notice how she drives her hips straight back as if somebody's grabbed her by there, her shirt tail in the back and pulled her backwards. And then she's squeezing those glutes tight at the top. So on this, this is the one we wanted you to have as heavy of a weight as possible. If you don't have a very heavy weight, but you do have a band that is challenging, you can grab that band. And we'll show you how to set that up. If you don't remember, you're going to step on both strands of the band and then grab the sides of it or grab them like handles. And you can choke down if it's too easy. But then the same thing, hips go straight back. Uh, hands stay above the shoestrings. And then you come up and squeeze those glutes tight. So you have an option there, but it is 20 reps. So if you just have a lighter weight and you don't have a band, um, go through those 20 reps, but push the pace on those as you go through them. So you got 10 hollow rocks, 10 sing, and the goal is to go from the hollow rocks straight into those leg raises. So you're holding that hollow position the whole time. 10 hollow rocks, 10 single leg raises each side, broad jump to back pedal 10 times, and then those heavy Romanian deadlifts. We're going 10 minutes of those. So we'll get everybody down on the floor. If anybody needs any modifications on that that we did not offer up, please throw those in the comments and I will take care of you by the time we get to it. Otherwise, 10 seconds, we going. Hollow rocks, 10 reps or a hollow hold for 10 seconds. And let's get it. There we go. Solid hollow rocks. Yeah, we don't come all the way. You guys are all doing those great. We don't come all the way up on a hollow rock. Just come up a little bit, and that is plenty. Once you get 10 of those, you got 10 hollow single leg raises each leg. So shoulder blades and head off the floor. Straight legs. So they both start down, and you just go down, up. Or I'm sorry, up, down, and then up, down with the other leg. So it's a very methodical movement. It's not like we're doing scissor kicks or anything like that. If you can have still have your arms up by the ears, that'll make it more challenging on your abs. But we got to keep those shoulder blades up off the floor. 
10 each leg. Then we're up into our broad jump into a back pedal. Remember on that, if you're not jumping, then you just sprint forward and back pedal back 10 times. Back pedal back, there you go, right there. Remember when we back pedal, we keep those hips down. Very important so nobody falls over backwards. So keep that butt low on that back pedal. There we go. Good job, Annie and Laura. I see y'all. Keep it up. Good strong jumps. Fast back pedal back. Remember, it's 10 total on that. Then you go into those heavy Romanian deadlifts for 20 repetitions. If to get heavy, if you have multiple weights on this and you want to get heavier with it, you can hold both weights and just do a suitcase version of it with the weights at your side. Stephanie Adams, I like where you're headed with the band right there. I'm hoping that'll be challenging, like it'll get tight. Oh, it did. It got tight by the time you were at mid shin. That's good. So when you come up, Stephanie, come up, squeeze hard on that. Oh, I like the sandbag, McGee. Keep it up. Slight bend in the knees. And remember, before we go down, we want to breathe in and brace that midsection. So you got to keep it tight. I'd love to see some of y'all turn sideways to your camera on this if you can, just so I can see if that back staying nice and flat and that we are bending those knees a little bit. There we go. As always, if we're using weights, they need to stay as close to your body throughout the movement as possible. If it's a lighter weight, push the pace. Hard squeeze at the top. If you got a kettlebell, it goes between the feet. If you got two dumbbells, you should be dragging those knuckles right down the side of your legs. Good work, folks, good work. So it is 20 on those deadlifts. Once you finish those, right back into those hollow rocks for 10. Everybody's doing a good job keeping that back straight too. Remember if you can, we want them shoulder blades up. If you can on the leg raises. I know those get tough. Christy Meadows, that's a solid hollow rock. That's great control through the middle. Two stepping at him, looks good. You got it, Dean, come on, man. Come on, Dean, let's get it, buddy. I know those are tough. 10 each leg and then up into a uh, broad jump into a back pedal. We are already four minutes down. Remember, we got 10 minutes total. Good job, good job, let's go. Come on, fast back pedal, let's get it. Should be a low hips, athletic stance on that back pedal. Once you get to those deadlifts, you can see Stephanie White. Notice that kettlebell staying between her feet as she goes down. That's what we wanna do. And I want you to actually like literally squeeze the cheeks at the top of that deadlift, hard squeeze at the top. With that sandbag, McGee, let's make sure, just keep it real close to your shins as you go down. We don't want to let it get away from you. Just the further that is from your legs, the more stress it's going to be on your low back. Remember, folks, on a deadlift, we're going to keep that head tilted downward so we're not cranking on the neck as you go down. And then stick that chest out real big. Chest out, chest out, right there, good. That's it, that's it, keep pushing. Good 
work, folks. Laura Annie, keep pushing that pace on those. That looks good. We got less than four minutes. Yay, that looks smooth. Keep it up. Looking good, looking good. Keep it up. Dig in the deadlifts. Remember on those leg raises, we want the shoulder blades off the ground if you can. There we go, Vicky. Broad jump, back pedal back. We got 10 of those. All right, we are past the three minute mark when we're trying to maintain a, a keep a pace you can maintain. Let's go now, let's go now, keep it up, come on. Good job everybody, good job. Like the band of deadlifts, Vicky. Got quick feet, Laura Holland. Keep it up. Chop, 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 chop. Caleb would be proud. Keep rolling, Dean. You got it, buddy. All right, less than two minutes. Number 20 reps. Straight on those deadlifts. Keep it up, keep it up, come on. Fast, fast forward that. Sorry, I was fast forwarding the song, Stephanie. I know this one speeds up in just a minute. Minute 30 left, let's go. Remember when we deadlift, we pull those shoulder blades back and pinch them together before we go down and we want to leave them like that. Really pull those shoulders back hard. Good work, everybody, good work. All right, one minute left, one minute left. Let's go. You got it. Good job, Vicky Stowe. Keep it up. You got to jump past your car from right there. Close. There you go. There you go. Yeah. All right, folks. We got a little bit less than 30 seconds left. Do the best you can. 20 seconds now. Five seconds. You got it. You got it. Come on. All right. Wrist. Good job. We will take another two-minute break. If you need some water, go grab some water. Great work. This is where I was trying to fast forward the song to. This I was That's where I was trying to fast forward the song to because I know that was a slow song. And I it's Green Day did a bunch of songs where it's like two songs in one and they start out that way and then they go into faster. All right, I think everybody's ready. So we're going to go ahead and put this next part up on the screen. So what we're going to finish up with today, before we stretch, we've got two 
three minute sets. So the first one, you can use a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or you can use bands. Uh, the goal here is to do this overhead. I think everybody's shoulders are pretty healthy here. Um, if you cannot go overhead, we can always do some dips, which we'll demonstrate for you in just a second. So you got a box back there. Um, so if you have a band, you're gonna step on it, bring it up behind your head, and we're going to tricep extensions or overhead extensions. Thumbs up, and then she's gonna go up with that with her hands and squeeze tight. The, the exact, the, what she's doing right now, you can also do with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. You can hold it right behind your head and just extend that up. So what we're gonna do is that for three minutes, as many times as you can within three minutes. So if you got a lighter weight, I'd probably try to go for like sets of 15 to 20, put it down, shake it out real quick, and then try to do it again. I would say a good goal to set here is at least uh, 15 to somewhere between 15 and 25 reps every minute. Now, if you don't have the dumbbell or the band to use, or if overhead gives you an issue, have a seat on a box or a couch and just barely come off of it. So your butt's almost going to drag down the side of it. So just get real close to that box. And then as you go down, you drive your elbows backwards. So that would, that's going to be a little bit somewhat tougher depending on who you are. Um, we can do some dips. And then if that doesn't work, let me know. There is a skull crusher variation we can do from your back on the ground. So this is it. Three minutes of uh, extensions. And then when we're done with this, we're going to repeat the same format um, with bicep curls for three minutes. So we're going to get those arms working today. So this is max reps, three minutes. You should be burning at this after this. Um, yeah, if you need to, if we've got doubles, one of y'all could do the overhead extensions and the other person could do the curls. So like Laura, you could hold that with two hands for the curls if you, y'all could hold, yeah, y'all got it. So you would turn it, turn it sideways for the curls, Laura. That's it right there. I'd probably, if you can, like, yeah, just like that, you crank out as many of those as you can but you gotta go all the way down to straight arms every rep. That's a little bit more effective for what we're going for today. All right, so we are starting out overhead extensions for three minutes, either with a band or a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Go ahead and grab it, because we are going in 10 seconds. As many as you can now. And go ahead and go. That's it right there, Laura. You got it. You put one leg behind you. Sometimes it's a little more comfortable to go to like a staggered stance. There you go. And just go straight to straight elbows. A little bit of a squeeze at the top. So I want y'all to focus on squeezing those triceps at the top. Depending on the weight you got, our goal is to get 15 to 20 reps per set before you've got to stop and shake them out. There you go. You got it. You got it. Come on now. You got that. Just about at that two-minute mark. I know Stephanie over here is already on, I think, her third set. You can always break it down into less than 20. It just depends on what you know how heavy your weight is or how hard that band is. You can switch between a dumbbell and a band if you want to. Come on, Annie, you got that. Crank them, Annie. You're ready. That's it. Got it, Laura. You got it. Come on. We'll get you busting out that jacket. Go ahead and put Justin in a headlock. Come on, folks. We got this. We got this. So we are just past halfway. You got to get outside of your head a little bit on this one and ignore whatever it's saying and keep going. Ooh, that band snapped you down. <laughs> Got that, Stephanie, come on. You're ready. You're almost just about at that one minute mark. For everybody using a band, stay mindful of where it's at on your foot. Don't let that band slip off and smack you. So we got less than a minute left. Whatever you gotta do to stop thinking and just move, do it. Let's go now. Oh, Stephanie White's getting it. She is getting it. She's working hard. 
That's why them arms look like they do. All right, 40 seconds left. Come on, we got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 30 seconds now. If you got to rest, rest with it right behind you and then go right back into it. Come on, don't lose time putting the dumbbell down and picking it up. Just let it hang right behind you. 20 seconds. You got this. As many as you can. 15. 15 seconds. Let's go. As many as you can. You got this. Almost there. Five seconds. Come on. Rest. All right. You got 30 seconds, and we're going to roll into biceps curls for three minutes. So with these, you can do this with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Um, with the dumbbell, you have one hand on each side of the dumbbell. With a band, you just stand on that band and curl it up. So we'll go here in about, about 15 seconds. We're going to rock out with some curls. All right, 10 seconds now. All right, three, two, one, let's hit, let's hit. So just like, um, just like those tricep extensions, we're gonna do the same thing here. I want y'all to aim for 15 to 20 reps before you stop. Yeah. Get right, get right. Three minutes, max reps, you're 25 seconds in. Good stuff, folks. Good stuff. Come on now. Love. Everybody's still grinding. Come on. If you, if you're way, if you feel like with two hands, it's going to take you like 50 reps to make it challenging. You could always try to go like 10 reps on one side, 10 reps on the other, and just go back and forth. Come on, let's go, let's go. You got it. We're going for volume here. Volume is what makes arms look good. But we gotta get to a point where it's pretty close to failure or it's just getting really, really challenging for it to actually work. Oh yeah, should be burning now. Starting to see some effort faces. You are halfway through, a minute and a half in. Let's go now, keep it up, come on. Yeah, one minute left. One minute, we gotta get it, gotta get it, come on. Just keep rocking out as many as you can for these last 45 seconds. Got that, good job, Dean. Good job, McGee, let's keep it up. Keep pushing, Allens. Y'all got this. 30 seconds now. How many can you get in 30 seconds? Challenge yourself on this. See if you can stop thinking and just go. 20 seconds now. I know it's tough. I know it burns. You're done with it after this. Keep it up. We're going to stretch your biceps when we get done with this. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Don't run away after this. All right, rest. We're gonna go right into a bicep stretch. Pull back, you wanna extend your fingers and thumbs up or wherever you feel that the most, whether it's thumbs down or thumbs up. But you see Stephanie is pulling her arms back with her fingers extended. You gotta really extend those fingers to help hit that elbow area or that bicep area. And just reach back and hold. We'll go a few more seconds on this one, and then we're going to drop down on our knees into a wrist stretch. All right, let's go ahead and drop down. You're going to turn those palms facing forward 
and then lean back towards your fingertips. Try to work on those forearms a little bit, maybe up in towards that elbow area. Lean back, big stretch across the wrist. And just hold. You can go side to side a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and sit back into that um, child's pose. Just reach those arms out as far as you can. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now, whichever arm you'd like, go straight through and underneath with it. Drive that shoulder towards the ground and then try to rotate away from the hand that went underneath. There's a dog. I see one dog. All right, go ahead and switch. All right, from there, we'll go straight into that frog stretch. So just drive the knees out wide, and then the feet will also be out wide and try to push your hips towards the ground. It's like you're doing a split with your knees bent. Big inner thigh stretch here. We want to drive those knees out. So this isn't necessarily about sitting back as much as it is driving those knees out. And then you can try to sit back a little bit, see how it feels. All right, let's bring one leg up and through into that pigeon stretch. And just relax. Find where you feel this the most in your hip of the leg that is in front. All right, we'll switch legs. Christy, your dog is pumped. He just like trotted it off. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's it. Great job. Have a great day. I'm going to get everybody.